You're gonna be late for your date. Relax, Heron. The restaurant's right around the corner. I have plenty of time. Lee, you have to go home and change first. Take the blue dress from my closet. Oh, and my yellow sweater. What is wrong with what I'm wearing? We're going on a date. Your first date since you broke up with. Da! Ah! Don't say it. He who shall not be named. Thank you. I just think you should look like you're at least trying. This is so exciting. Why aren't you more excited? Because it's my first date since I broke up with. I'm just trying to keep expectations low. Hi, ladies. Sorry I'm late. I was stuck on a call with advertising. Just explaining that the Richards Record is a serious, hard-hitting online news magazine that deserves respect. But I am here now, and my full attention is on my top two editors, so they can pitch me new ideas for the next edition of... Uh, Bad Date Chronicles. The Foodie Country Black. Hard-hitting news magazine. The softer, more human edge. What have you got? All I'm saying is I, I think you're overdressed. It's our first date. Exactly. You're setting the bar way too high. Look, Brad, she knows I'm the Styles and Trends editor for the Peters Post. I have to look good. OK, I can't show up wearing ratty jeans and a t-shirt. Hey, I look good. Yeah, for the editor of the sports blog. Connor editor. and Brad, my two favorite editors. You say that's all your editors? No. Yeah, but with you two, I actually mean it. Mm. Just don't tell that to Susan at the news desk. It might break her heart. Hey, Milo, don't you think that Connor is a bit overdressed for a first date? No, he's a style guy. He has to look stylish, otherwise he's the sports guy. Hey, I still think you're going to regret wearing those nice clothes. Think fast! Dude! Hey, I've got an extra pair of pants in the car. I will be right back. And if you don't like those, I also have two really good submissions for this week's Bad Day Chronicles. One is from Becky, whose date brought his mother. The second is Steve, who forgot to put his car in park and it rolled into the lake. Car in the lake, that'll make better headlines. That is so depressing. Do you know what we need? A true love blog to balance out your Bad Day Chronicles. True love? We don't do fiction at the Richards Record. Besides, nobody wants to read about happy people. Happy people don't get page views. She's right, Erin. Not many people are into hearts and flowers anymore. Is this a girl going on a date tonight? A date? Well, I should really let you get going so you can go change. <laughs> See? 
She's got a date with the Style and Trends editor, Erin, over at the Peter's Post. Peter's Post? Do not get me started about Milo Peters. Uh, no. No, I'm not going on a date like this. Why not? Because I look like a roadie for a hair metal band. Well, maybe she likes music. Connor, why don't you just go home and change? I can't. I'm already running late. The restaurant's all the way across town. How's my phone? I've uh, got coffee, too. It's flickering on and off. Sorry, dude. Just use the one on the desk. I can't. Her name's in my contacts. Look, why don't you just explain it to her when you get there? You'll probably have a good laugh over it. <laughs> hey, Brad, she edits a blog called The Bad Date Chronicles, OK? So if I show up looking like this, I end up on the front page. The Bad Date Chronicles? Yeah. Do not get me started about Allison Richards. You know who Milo Peters stole his entire idea from, don't you? You? Me. I hired him. I trained him. I was his mentor. He turns around, stabs me in the back, and starts the ridiculous Peters Post. She still tells people I stole an idea for the Peters Post. <laughs> like doing an online magazine, some brilliant idea no one's ever thought of before. I am so late. Connor, do not give this woman any ammunition for a bad day chronicles, please. Any more ammunition. Yep, thanks, boss. Feel better already. Do not reveal any of our company secrets, but get him to reveal his. Is it too late to get out of this date? Stop. It'll be fine. You won't end up on the Bad Day Chronicles. What happened? You are never going to believe this. First, he was late, really late. And he didn't call you? No, I was just getting ready to leave when he rushes up. Hey, 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 I'm sorry. Look, my car wouldn't start, so I had to get a cab and race over here. I thought he was a style editor. He said something about coffee and switching clothes with his friend. And that he tried to call me, but his phone didn't work. Then... She was made for me. Ju Julian called. Julian, Peter's post. He didn't make a reservation? Apparently not. We had to wait at the bar for 45 minutes. I, I, you're on a date. I need you. Why don't you go someplace else? <laughs> Because he said it was the hottest restaurant in town. Ugh, typical trends editor. Once we got to the table, things were okay. Because all great love stories start with things going okay. You know what I mean. I didn't feel any butterflies, but he was charming and smart. It was going fine, and then... Maitre D hooked me up. Love it. <laughs> oh, man, this is this is the best. You gotta try this. Uh, that's okay. I, I Seriously, this looks like... <gasps> he set you on fire? Sorry. In his defense, he did poke me out quickly. No, no. <sighs> Look at it this way. At least you can say you felt a spark. Yeah, it's a little super fire joke. Sorry. Especially because I'm not even finished the story yet. Don't tell me it gets worse. Mm -hmm. He left. At first, I thought he was in the bathroom, or maybe making a call on his broken phone, but he never came back. So... No. Yes. I had to pay the whole bill. You are going to make him reimburse you. Re reimburse us? No. I just want to dry off, accept the fact that I'm never going on a date again, and eat my body weight in ice cream. I will admit, this was not a great re-entry into the dating pool, but on the other hand, maybe this is an improvement from your breakup. Don't say his name. The worst human who ever lived. Thank you. How awful is it that being set on fire is actually better than my last serious relationship? Well, at least now you have your own bad date chronicle and aren't just editing other people's. I am not putting this on the site. Uh, yeah, you are. You're gonna crush every other bad date ever. It's not a competition, Erin. It should be, because you'd win. Hey, buddy. That was the big date. It was a disaster. Why? Well, I couldn't get my car to start, so I had to take a cab and race over there. Julian, the restaurant critic, said he would get me a reservation at Il Tempo. And he didn't? Julian! So we were at the bar for like half an hour. Why didn't you just go somewhere else? Well, because I didn't have my car and I wasn't gonna ask her to drive. And besides, once we started talking, she was smart and funny. It wasn't bad. When you're telling your buddy about the hot date you went on the night before, you probably shouldn't include the phrase, it wasn't bad. Yeah, well, it definitely got hotter. <laughs> Oh man, this is this is the best. You gotta try this. Uh, that's okay. I, I Seriously, have plenty. Seriously, this will change my life. <laughs> she set herself on fire. I'm totally freaking out. I'm convinced that this woman is gonna press charges against me or something. So I go to get her some paper towels and splash some water on my face. 
You know the waiter probably would have brought you another pitcher. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, I managed not to hyperventilate, and then... Hello? Hello? You got locked in the bathroom. <laughs> and by the time I got out, she was gone. And to make things worse, she paid. Oh, dude, that's bad. And I wanted to try to call her to explain everything that happened, but my phone still wasn't working. So I just crashed and figured I'd deal with it in the morning. Connor, I'm trying to call you for an hour. You got to see this. What's going on? Everyone's looking for you. Why? Because of how your date went last night? How do you know how my date went last night? The whole world knows how your date went last night. Read. He showed up an hour late looking like he had just come from playing video games in his mother's face right now. We got calls from websites, TV stations, newspapers. You've gone viral, dude. She didn't even use my name. I mean, how? My date with Conrad, a lifestyle trends editor for an online magazine, and it wasn't hard to crack the code. Guys, what do I do? Change your name, move to another state. I have to try to talk to her, you know, convince her to take it down, post a retraction or something. Excellent idea. Yes, do that. Well, where are you going? With you? You were late for dinner, and she set herself on fire. <laughs> to see what she's doing for an encore. Lee. Connor. Connor, you have a lot of nerve. Oh, he's got a lot of nerve. She's the one making up stuff about their dates and broadcasting it to the world. Who are you? His friend Brad, who are you? I'm her friend, Erin. What does he mean I made stuff up? What you wrote on your site, that didn't happen. I was there. I was the one on fire, remember? Yeah, and I feel terrible about that, but there were extenuating circumstances. Look, I didn't use your name. Yeah, but everyone knows it's me. I mean, this could affect my job, my life. My mother called me all the way from Ohio asking what she had done wrong to make me turn out like this. Really? Yeah. I'm sorry, I... I don't be sorry. This is his fault, Lee. It is not his fault. You haven't even heard his side of it yet. Well. He has a column on the Peter's Post. Maybe you should go see if the truth is trending. Oh, no, okay. I, I don't. He will. No, maybe we should. So, Connor, it is time to fight fire with fire. See what I did there? Funny, very funny. We'll just see who has the last laugh. Put something in there about how all you can do is think about herself. Oh, I can't believe he made me wait. Uh, oh, I'm on fire. I'm not going to say that. And he didn't call to explain what had happened. Maybe he can't get good cell service in his mother's basement. Uh? One second. Perhaps if she had taken the time to listen to my side, we would have a fun story to laugh about later. But instead, she jumped to conclusions so she would have a good story for her blog. Uh. Uh, yeah, that's that's good. More of that. Stop hitting refresh. Well, how else are we gonna know if he posts something? I think we'll know. Refresh. No, oh, he did not call you self-absorbed. The handle came off the bathroom door. Well, I didn't know that. Jump to conclusions? Oh, he has a point, I guess. No, he doesn't. He's the bad guy. If what he's saying is true, there is no bad guy. You have to write a rebuttal. OK, I'm putting an end to this right now. I'll see you guys later. Hi. Hey, sorry to barge in unannounced. No, 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 that's OK. Uh, how'd you get back? Uh, the receptionist read both our columns. She's taking my side. OK, got it. Do you want to sit? Sure. OK. Listen, I read your post. You were actually a lot nicer about the whole thing than I thought you would be. I mean, I called you self-absorbed and clueless. I called you vain and entitled. I wanted to apologize for jumping to conclusions. I should have let you explain. That's OK. You know, and I wanted to apologize for, well, everything. <laughs> Apology accepted. Great. Truce? Truce. OK, so I'm going to go back to chronicling other people's bad dates. And I'll go back to writing about the latest trendy topic that everyone will forget about by tomorrow afternoon. <laughs>
And we can both just forget this ever happened. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, well, I better go. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> yeah. It was fine. We made peace. Well, you are a much better person than I am because I'm still ready for war. Nobody messes with my friends. I've been responding to comments on his post for hours just to work out some aggression. Just let it go. If I can, you can. You're right. Absolutely right. You've already opened the laptop again, haven't you? Yeah. Sounds like this bad date chronicle girl needs to go on a date with a real man. I guess I can't expect more from someone with a screen name of Muscle Man 1988, but maybe if you got out of the gym every now and then, you'd be able to deal with real women instead of just girls. Signed, PrettyFan86. Private chat. Okay, single surfer 87. What do you want to say to me? Foodie fan 88. I couldn't agree more. Men like Muscle Man 1988 give men a bad name. P.S. I'm a fan of food too. What's your favorite? Italian, Mexican, Chinese? All of the above. Allison Richards. Still answering your own phone, huh, Allison? Trying to prove you're a woman of the people? Milo Peters. How are things going over at that little blog of yours? Not so little anymore. One of our posts just hit 15 million views. Really? I didn't know that many people in your target audience could read. Apparently about a million more than yours. Seems people are siding with my trends guy over your bad date woman. No accounting for taste? Same old Allison, beautiful but ruthless. Same old Milo. Do women really fall for that kind of line? You did. Once. We went on one date and it was horrible. It wasn't that bad. I have had surgeries less painful. Is there something I can do for you, Milo? Actually, I was thinking we can help each other. I'm listening. It's obvious these posts are connecting with people. And I'm not gonna lie, 15 million views is the biggest thing we've ever seen. And I'm guessing 14 million is for you too. I can neither confirm or deny that. No, you just did. So it seems it's in our mutual best interest to try and keep this thing going. What did you have in mind? You want me to what? Go out with him again. Like a do-over. A do-over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Milo, let me get this straight. You, my boss, want me, your employee, to go out with a girl for work. I'm not asking you to marry her. Just go out for dinner with her once or twice. Wait, what? Twice? Let's make it three times. You want me to go on three dates with him? Lee, look at it like public service. Your dates help our readers, good or bad. Yes, then you both write your respective columns. You want me to review my date? However it turns out, good or bad. Besides, Connor, this is the kind of thing that can make your career. I mean, come on. This is styles and trends. This is definitely trending. We're talking national attention here. You don't want to be editing the Bad Day Chronicles for the rest of your life, do you? I want to be a news editor. Serious content. I don't see how this gets me any closer to that. Well, you just happen to be talking to somebody that hires editors. She's expecting your call. He'll call you. Thank you.
You are not going to believe this. I don't believe it. Are you gonna do it? I don't know if I have a choice. She can't make you go out on a date with him. Three dates. And yes, she can. She's our boss. I mean, obviously, I'd love for my career to be bigger, but I don't know if this is the way I want it to happen. Well, maybe it won't be so bad. I mean, you said you kind of made up with her, right? I only went over there because I was convinced I'd never have to see him again. Such a creature of habit. Same coffee shop, same time, and I'm guessing, same coffee, yep. I don't come here every day. Allison, I worked with you for over two years. You think there isn't a single thing I don't know about you? What do you want, Milo? Well, just checking in, seeing if you're ready for our big date tonight. Oh, is that tonight? Let me guess, you forgot all about it. it totally slipped my mind. Well. Maybe we need to make this a little bit more interesting for you, then. Go on. I'm thinking a little wager. Whoever gets the most post views wins. Wins what? One dollar. Oh, time's a little tough over at Peter's Post? It's symbolic. Because I think losing will drive you crazy no matter what it is. OK. You're on. No interference. What do you mean? Well, it's in our interest for these days to go poorly, but whatever happens, happens. We stay out of it. Deal. So do you know where they're going tonight? Mm. It's a do-over date, so I believe they're heading back to the scene of the crime, El Tempo. And whose idea was that? You know, I like my dollar bill to have nice, crisp, sharp corners. Please and thank you. Enjoy your coffee. I will. You have nothing to eat. Well, you invited yourself over. You should have brought your own food. Which tie? For what? Job interview you have to go in if you mess this up? How's that helpful? Just relax, you know, try and be yourself. You always know what to say. OK, look, if absolutely nothing else, just view this as like practice, you know? It's been a long time since Amy. Yeah, well, it takes a while to get over having your heart stomped on. But you're dating again, so that's progress. No, 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 no. this is not a date, Brad. This is being forced by my boss to go out for dinner with a woman for work. And you know what? I feel cheap. Yeah, OK, that is a little weird. But that first one, that, that was a real date. Yeah, look how that turned out. OK. I'm ready. Wish me luck. You don't need luck. Oh, well, thanks, man. I meant all you have to do is just not send someone else on fire. It's kind of a low bar, you know? <laughs> hey, don't forget your rights of bad day, Chronicles. Very funny. <sighs> Wish you had some food. How do I look? Perfect. It's a little chilly, though. Do you want to borrow a sweater? Is fireproof? Right. Sorry. Never mind. Oh, I can't believe I'm so nervous. It's not even a real date. I'm sure it'll be fine. Maybe you'll even have some fun. Fun? On a date? Does that ever happen? Wow. He really did a number on you, didn't he? Who? You know. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, he broke my heart. Actually, it was more than that. He made me feel like... It wasn't good enough. But you are, you know. You're amazing. Stop it. You're going to make my mascara run, and you know how much I hate female cliches. Call me if you need to be rescued. Or, you know, if he wrecks the date on purpose. Thanks for that. You sound surprised. <laughs> Sorry. This is a little uh, weird, huh? Yeah, very weird. I mean, I've been set up by coworkers before, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, shall we? Oh, we have a reservation. Uh, I sounded surprised again, didn't I? 
I heard it that time. Sorry. Yeah. I'm just gonna see if our table's ready. <laughs> oh, good evening, sir. How may I assist you? Hi. Hi. I have a reservation for 8.30. Connor Michaels? Uh, yes. Here it is. Okay. Table for two. Uh, 9.45 p.m. No, 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 no. I, I made the reservation for 8.30. No, sir. See, it was 8.30. It was moved to 9.45 p.m. Moved by who? Well, I'm sure I don't know, sir. <clears throat> Ill tempo. I'm trying to take the day. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Hi. What will it take to move the reservation to 8.30? message from single surfer 87 what do you think of the recipe i'm not done yet the pasta is still boiling this is my family's secret recipe if you mess it up i'll never forgive myself for sharing it well then stop chatting me i can't type and cook at the same time You've got two hands. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Do you think they remember us? I'm thinking yes. So. So. I, I literally have no idea what to say right now. <laughs> Me either. I have a question. Can I ask you something? Sure. Did you, and look, don't take this the wrong way, but did you want to do this, this whole he said, she said date thing? Well, I, I mean, I, I thought it was a cute idea. But it wasn't your idea. No. I didn't mean for that to sound so emphatic. <laughs> it's okay. Look, it wasn't my idea either. It was my boss. Same as me. It was all Allison. So you didn't want to be here either? No. And I did mean to say that emphatically. Well, then, there, look at that. We both have something in common. Neither of us wants to be on this date. And we both have crazy bosses. You know what? I will drink to that. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Yes, you're in luck. Something just opened up in three months. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you soon. May I help you, sir? Why, no, no, I'm good. Actually, do you mind maybe just, shh, just a little to your left? Mm. Yes, I do mind. Not the only one who can talk on the phone. Milo speaking. Milo, are you interrupting Lee and Connor's date? What? No, of course not. Really? The Manor D obviously thinks you are. Mm. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Protecting my investment. From the lobby. I'm surprised you don't have a table here. I did. They weren't supposed to be seated this early. You changed the reservation. I don't know what you're talking about. What else did you do? Nothing. What did you do? Nothing. You look amazing, by the way. Thank you. Like the suit. Thank you. It's Italian. Anyway, I need to use the ladies' room. Oh, good, because I have to go to the, to have to go to the car for something in the car.
So I guess we should do all the first date stuff that we didn't get to do last time, right? Right, like where we're from, family, how long we've lived here type stuff. The basics. Okay, well, I'm from... Sorry, I... I forgot to turn the ringer off. Oh, no, go ahead. Right, uh, well, uh, I am from... Sorry. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm just gonna turn it off. We should, we should be good now. <laughs> so, you were saying? Yes, I was saying that I'm from... Miss Rhinus. There's a call for you at the front desk. Really? Mm-hmm. That's, that's weird. I better take it. <laughs> of course. Go ahead. Right this way. There you are. Thanks. Hello? Hello? Excuse me? There's nobody there. Really? It was just a moment ago. You said it was your brother, and that it was urgent. I, I don't have a brother. I don't suppose he said his name was Brad, did he? He didn't leave a name. Excuse me. So, you need this date to go bad too, huh? I'm on to you, buddy. Call from her brother. Mm hmm I see. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, this means war. Well, this has been... Yeah, just... Maybe we should... I think so. But hey, look at it this way. At least nothing bursts into flames. Sir, as requested, our signature dessert. Dessert? Dessert? Yes! Cherry's Jubilee! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, but I think he might be trying to kill me. I should check my will to make sure he's not a beneficiary. Wow. This is worse than the original. I didn't order that dessert. This is so great. Wait, why is it great? Because your version has twice as many hits as hers does. We're winning. It's totally worth the effort. What effort? Yeah, effort it takes to build a company and hire brilliant editors like you guys. Good stuff. Well, that was weird. Yeah, this is weird. In your blog, you said, I have no way of proving that she sets up fake calls to interrupt the date, but if the bad date plot fits, wear it. You really think she had her roommate paid her at the front desk? And I don't know who else it could have been. Myra B. wants to know why Connor hates women. Who's Myra B.? One of the people commenting on your article. Why are you reading those? Everyone who posts on there is crazy. Uh, they're not all crazy. Well, I'll tell you what is crazy, that Connor really thinks I did all this just to make the date go badly. I think the operative word in the title, Bad Date Chronicles, is bad. Besides, that's what you said he did. I know that's what he did. Maybe he's trying to divert suspicion. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I went through all of that, and he's still getting more views than I am. How's Allison taking it? She's ready to explode. If I don't find a way to get the page views up somehow, I don't know what she's going to do. Alison Richards. Double or nothing. You're on. Hi. Your office said I could find you here? I'm, uh, I'm Brad. Ponder's friend? I remember who you are. If you're looking for Lee, she's not here. 
I'm not here to talk to Lee. I'm here to talk to you. Why? Because you're the one helping Lee tank their date. What are you talking about? I haven't tanked anything. Oh, so that wasn't you calling her a hundred times? Of course not. Their second date is tonight. All I'm asking is that you just stay out of it. I'm not in it. Maybe you should stay out of it. Maybe you're the one making Connor look bad. Look, I know you don't like Connor, but he's actually a really good guy. And he's been hurt, OK? His last relationship was, it, it took him a really long time to get to where he felt like he could trust anyone. So just stay out of it, OK? Lee was hurt, too. So bad that she won't even let me say his name around her. The Bad Date Chronicles isn't just a job for her. It's her way of feeling a little less alone. Sorry to hear that. I'm sorry, too, for him. Just let them have their date, OK? I really need to find a new place to go for coffee. When are you going to let this feud between us go? When you admit what you did. What did I do? You know. What? Start my own company, want something for myself. Is this what you've been angry about for the last couple of years? Why did you come here, Milo? Well, I was rereading our blog postings, both of them. And I was actually feeling a little bit guilty about what we did. You, guilty. Wait, is this being recorded for one of those prank shows? Allison, I'm serious. Look, our sites may not be New York Times, but should still have some level of journalistic integrity, don't you think? Messing with the love lives of two innocent people for our own personal gain is about as far from integrity as you can get. Ooh, I hate it when you're right. So. Tonight, the date goes how it goes, good or bad, we stay out of it. Agreed? Agreed. You know you're beautiful when you compromise. Go away. Enjoy your coffee. He's just gonna try to mess with me again like he did last time. Well, then you mess with him first. Yeah, but doesn't that make me just as bad as he is? Lee, you have to make a choice. Either take control or stay here and hide on the couch. Our couch is really comfortable. Take control, okay? Okay. I don't know what you're so freaked out about. I'm going on a date with someone who thinks I'm trying to kill her. She doesn't really think that. She just thinks you're trying to sabotage your dates. You know what? Maybe you should. What? Why? Because otherwise, you're going to end up playing defense all night. Don't let her take advantage of you like, like Amy did. Yeah. You know what? No more playing defense. Yeah, so did I. So we're both late. Yeah, we missed the start of the movie. OK, so what's plan B? Well, I mean, I was thinking we could take a paddleboat ride on the lake. A lake? No, no lakes. Uh, maybe we could just get coffee. Oh, coffee, huh? A room full of hot liquids? No, I don't think so. But there is a bar around the corner that has karaoke. So I can embarrass myself in public? No, thank you. Ice skating? No, I don't want to end up in a cast on them. So what are we going to do? Maybe we just, I don't know, go for a, a walk or something? A walk. Be fun. OK. Uh, yeah. yeah. Top? <laughs>
So how did you get involved with Bad Day Chronicles? Uh, happenstance, mainly. I got hired to be a copy editor for the site, but then I had this really, really epic breakup around the time they were looking for someone to run the blog. It seemed like a natural fit. Had a few bad dates yourself, huh? <laughs> I mean, other than ours. More like bad relationships. I kind of just wanted to forget about it, you know? Work on something happy and upbeat, but the site didn't have a blog for puppies and rainbows, so. How about you and Trends? You know, in a way, it was the same thing. I was writing a sports blog, went through a bad breakup, and just decided that I needed to write about something else. Why? Oh, did I not tell you that she was the sportscaster of a local TV station? Ah, yeah. continue. So my college buddy Brad hooked me up with this gig at the Peters Post by telling them that I was super trendy and cutting edge on all the latest <laughs> everything. And you worked? No. No, my car was seven years old and I had the same haircut since I was 50. <laughs> You know that saying, fake it till you make it? Yes. Yeah, well, I was really good at faking it. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess our breakups were good for something. They got us jobs. Yeah, yeah, I guess they did. I mean, there is that whole inability to trust anyone and things about that. <laughs> so you want to give ice skating a try? I will if you will. Well, so much for integrity. I was just watching. What are you doing here? Same. 15 million views at stake here. Well, we don't have to worry about that anymore. These two are on the most boring date ever. I mean, they're on a walk and talk. I mean, come on. This is not bad day chronicle worthy. What do we do? We agreed not to interfere. Yes, we did. Because that, that would, would be, be bad. Yeah. Although. I'm listening. A bad date is not just in our best interest, it's also in theirs. Go on. Bad date means more page views, which means higher profile, which means better jobs and more money for them. This could be their first step towards starting their own online magazine. Exactly. <laughs> we kind of owe it to them to yep. interfere. We are their mentors. And you know what? Mentors have integrity. Yes. So what are we waiting for? <sighs> Allison? What? You're beautiful when you compromise, but you're gorgeous when you're devious. Let's just break up a date, please. How does it feel? How does what feel? To be a winner. Your write-up of last night's date is outpacing the Peters Post version by 30%. We are gonna crush them on the next date. Yeah, that's what I wanna talk to you about. I don't think there's gonna be a next date. Why don't you have a seat? What do you mean? I mean, he can't be that bad, can he? No, he's not. He actually seems like a decent guy. And in between all the horrible stuff, we were having fun, but... Allison, I think another date is gonna kill me. Lee, I have been seeing you in a whole new light since this all started. Smart, funny, talented. Wait, how did you see me before? Honestly, you were fine. Fine is fine, but it's not amazing. And since you've been sharing your stories, you've been amazing. Really? Yes. If he's not intentionally trying to make these dates a nightmare, then I'm pretty sure one of us has picked up an ancient tiki necklace on a family trip to Hawaii because we are cursed. <laughs> That's funny. I see big things for you at the Richards record. 
But can I write about something else? Something that doesn't involve the threat of imminent death? I'm sure you could, but how are you going to feel if you don't see this all the way through? Relieved. Like a quitter. Nobody wants to be a quitter. I know I don't. Uh, I don't think you have as much at stake in this as I do. You might be right. Thank you for the talk, Lee. I look forward to your next write-up. What just happened? I sank the boat. I know, but I did not sink the boat. I know, but the boat sank, and so if I was your girlfriend, she's not my girlfriend, okay? And it's not my fault. It's got to be someone's fault. But it shouldn't be me, okay? Lee's literally trying to blame me for every single thing. I did not break the karaoke machine, and I most certainly did not sink the boat. Do you think your girlfriend did? Stop calling her that. I don't know, okay? It doesn't seem like her, but can't all be coincidence. I mean, nobody goes on three dates in a row like that. So what are you going to do about it? Where are you going? Go break up with my girlfriend. Ah, uh -huh. told you she was your girlfriend. You're late. I'm not late. I'm varying my routine. Same coffee house, same coffee. Just 10 minutes later than usual. I got a different drink, too. Looks the same to me. It's only half cap. You are a mad woman. Totally out of control. Anyway, I was talking to Lee, and she made an interesting point. What's that? That the stakes aren't high enough for me in this little competition we have going on. OK. What were you thinking? Your business card. I don't think that's worth the $4 or double or nothing that is up to him. Not the card, the business. I was doing a little research. The Richards record has women 18 to 49. Peter's Post has men. Separately, we do fine. But together, we could be amazing. You want us to merge? Yes. As partners. That's where the wager comes in. If we get more hits on the next date post, you work for me. If you get more hits, I work for you. You're serious? Very. You're on. Water! I can't believe you think I'm that much of a monster. Uh, do you mind? I, I work here. What are you talking about? Your bad day chronicle where you called me a sociopath? I did not. Well, you may as well have. I mean, sabotage, food tampering, maritime disasters. If I wasn't so offended, I would be impressed that you thought I had that much power. So what? You just expect me to believe all this was just happenstance? No, I don't think that at all. Well, so I'm the sociopath. Well, if the straight jacket fits. It wasn't me. Well, it wasn't me either. If it wasn't you and it wasn't me, then who was it? <clears throat> Oh, great. Uh, that's my boss. That's my boss. Wait a minute. That's Milo Peters? Yeah. It's Allison Richards. Yes! What are they doing together? Oh. Brad? Aaron? What are you doing here? I'm meeting someone. Me too. Go away. What do you mean, go away? I mean, you're going to ruin it. How am I going to ruin it? I don't know, but I'm sure you'll find a way. Well, then maybe you should go. I'm not leaving. I'm not either. Red shirt. 
single surfer? Booty fame? No! No! It makes so much sense. I was feeling so... Inept? Yes! <laughs> like, I not only forgot how to date, but was actually really bad at it. Like, bodily harm bad. I know, I mean, I realize I shouldn't wrap up my sense of self-worth in this stereotypical guy thing of how women respond to me on dates, but... But it wasn't us, it was them. Yeah, you know what? They're the sociopaths. Yeah. They sank our boat. Yeah, they lit me on fire, twice. Once, I mean, the first time was before they got involved, but... I say we blame them anyway. That works for me. <laughs> so what are we gonna do? We were supposed to go on a date this weekend. Yeah, it's supposed to be our last date, and frankly, I don't think I wanna know what they have in mind for a grand finale. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna end well for us. Yeah. You know, unless... They can't mess with our date if they don't know when it's happening. But they already do. Not if we change it. Oh, I like it. Change it to when? right now? Let's do it, let's just go. Let's go blow off the rest of work, go completely off the record, redo all of our bad dates and make them good. You know, just prove to ourselves that we're not bad date chronicles material. Let's do it. Perfect. <laughs> Did you know? Know what? That I was me, that, that she was me, the one you were ch You know what I mean? No, I, we talked about Lee and Connor's dates and you never said anything about knowing them. I wanted to know what you really thought. Then I figured if you knew I knew her, you'd censor your answers. Yeah, me too. But you defended Lee online. I didn't want to admit that I thought my friend was being- Lame? Something like that. I read both sides of it, and I thought Lee was making a better case. Don't tell her I said that. I won't. So why didn't you say anything in our chats? Because I'm her friend. It's in the job description to defend her. I get it. So, what now? Because as much as I may have liked Single Surfer, you in person has been... Yeah, uh, feelings mutual. <clears throat> well, I guess that's that then. So. <laughs> no way, seriously? Yeah. When I was a kid, I wanted to be the governor of Ohio. Not the president. No, no, that's too scary. I mean, <laughs> with the president, you have to deal with things like war. With the governor, you get all the cool stuff the president does, like a car and the bodyguards and a cool code name, but you don't have to worry about whether or not Michigan's gonna attack. That's a good point. What about you? What do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, I did the little girl trifecta, princess, ballerina, or doggy doctor. Nice. Mm, yes, but unfortunately, I realized I wasn't born into royalty. I have two left feet, and our dog Skipper didn't go live on a farm upstate. Mm. Bloom was off the rules on all of them. Understandable. Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course. Um, if our first date hadn't crashed and burned, uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> would you want to go out with me again? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Why? Because I thought you were a nice guy. Despite everything that happened, I couldn't stop thinking that you were nice. I... I didn't get a lot of nice with my ex-boyfriend, so... Nice was a nice change of pace. Well, you know what? I was relieved when I thought I'd never have to see you again. Oh. But, I mean, listen, I was... I was disappointed, you know, like I was missing out on something special. Oh. It's been a long time since I felt that way. You know, it's been over an hour and nothing horrible has happened. No, no, no don't, don't jinx it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hazards everywhere. There's no way this could work. I know. Our best friends hate each other. <laughs> I know. You and I hate each other. I don't know about hate. Well, we certainly don't like each other. But Footy Fan and Single Surfer do. 
I mean, I, I think they do. They do. But that's not real life. That's bits and bites and data and hiding behind personas that aren't who we really are. And even if they were, we don't know if they could have worked. So? So? I'm gonna go. Yeah, me too. For the record, I think Single Surfer and Foodie Fan would have made it. Alison Richards. Working late as usual. Just making sure that everything is in order for when you come work at the Richards Record. What a coincidence. I was just figuring out where you're going to sit when you come to work at the Peters Post. I do enjoy our little chats. As do I. So are we really going to do this? Merge our two companies? I've run the numbers 10 times, and I keep coming up with the same answer. We're better together than we are apart. We always were. Are you really ready to let this go? I've been doing this a long time. I started this blog before people really knew what a blog was. It's been my life. I know. I was there every day, and I saw how important it is to you. Yes, it is. But when Lee told me that the stakes weren't high enough for me, I realized she was right. Things around here have been routine. Well, you switched to half-calf? When the thought of betting Richard's record first popped into my mind, my first thought wasn't, that's ridiculous. It was... Why doesn't that sound ridiculous? I wouldn't have made this bet if on some level, at least, I wasn't prepared to lose. Okay. But I am going to win. Okay. And how are you going to feel when that happens? Well, let's just say you're not the only one looking for a little change in routine. So, I guess we should talk about logistics. Absolutely. So bad. Oh. <laughs> well, here we are. You want me to escort you home? Uh, my car's here, so I could give you a ride. Oh, no, it's good. I drove here. I'm good. I, uh, I had a great time. So did I. So the date's officially over, right? Right. So that means... What? We're not bad dates. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, that's Woo! what I'm talking about. In your face! <laughs> we course bad dates! We're good at dating. <laughs> <laughs> so I I have an idea. Okay. I know this date was for us, not our blogs, but... It was a really good date. It was, wasn't it? And you think we should tell people about it? Yeah. I would love for people to read about a good date for once. Okay. Yeah, let's write it up tonight and turn it in the first thing tomorrow. Great. I can't wait to read it. Me too. Well, um, good night. Good night. If we write about tonight's date, that means it was for work. I want our first kiss to be on a real date. Hmm? So we get a real date? Well, 
how you're so good at it. The waste of all that dating talent not to. Good night. incredible day I've had. Seriously, it's like I've lost all my bad dating karma. Erin, what's wrong? I think I found all your bad dating karma. Oh no, what happened? Erin? Lee's Erin, your mystery internet soulmate, was the woman who kind of hates you? That's the one. I'm sorry, man. Then what are you gonna do? I can't do anything. We'd obviously never work out. But you said you were hitting it off online. That was before I knew who he really was. I just wish there was some way I could show her who I really am. <laughs> Enough about me, though. Um, how'd things go with Lee? Incredible. We had the best time. Really? Really. It's amazing how much easier dating someone is when you don't have crazy people trying to mess it up. <laughs> Milo Peters and Allison Richards together? I thought they hated each other. Well, apparently they had one thing in common, greed. You know, our posts about our horrible dates were been getting huge numbers, so it made sense that they wanted more. So what are you gonna do? We are gonna give them what they want. A third date. <laughs> okay, where do I start? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, you don't have to apologize. No, I, I meant you. You're sorry for intentionally ruining our dates. Um, yes? Allison. Your bad day chronicles have generated millions of hits as far as revenue. I don't even think our, our, our accounting department has ever been asked to count that high. So no, I won't apologize for making something popular and successful. Even if it meant I got hurt in the process. How did you get hurt? I was on fire. Oh, you really need to let that go, Lee. Everybody else has. Well, it's over now. You have your final date piece. I have fulfilled my duties. I can't print this. Why not? It's easy to get distracted by the things that don't really matter. But that's what makes it all the more exciting when you can see past those distractions to find the real person standing behind them. Ugh. I, Aaron already pitched the Love Stories blog. Remember? We don't do fiction. It's not fiction. That was our date. You'd prefer that I make something up? Say we had a horrible time and there was like a plague of locusts or something? Plague of locusts. That's a little far-fetched, but I like where you're going with this. What if the restaurant had cockroaches? I'm not doing this. That is the date we had. If you want something else, write it yourself. All right. I will. So Allison really tried to sabotage your date, huh? Milo. Okay, okay, we're terrible people. But we had good reason. Oh, you did? Yes, money. Okay, what I meant is money for the company. To pay people's salaries, not just you and me. I'm responsible for all these people here. And sometimes it's, it's a little scary. Intimidating. And I feel the weight of that responsibility every day, and I guess it made me a little crazy. And I'm sorry. Thank you. This is really well written. You really like her, huh? I do. Well, this isn't what they want. I don't know, Milo. I mean, doesn't everybody want a story with a happy ending? Yeah, for themselves, but not other people. But if this is what you want to publish... It is. And this is what we'll publish. Okay. Just let me show it to Allison first. I don't want there to be any surprises. Okay, Milo, thank you. I appreciate it. Remember that when we're all unemployed. This is good. This is really good. This makes that fire stuff look like child's play. Bad Day Chronicles, here we come. And publish. Hey, can we talk? 
Milo. Yes, actually, we need to talk, but I have to run out and find Lee really quickly. Do you mind waiting for me? Not at all. Be right here. I don't understand. Connor. This is not her. Everything matches with what you said. Instead of writing a romantic comedy, she wrote a horror movie. When he asked me if I thought I wanted to go out with him again after the first date, I almost couldn't decide if I wanted to scream, laugh, run away, or throw up. That I kept myself from doing any of these things is nothing short of a miracle. Why would she do this? I hate to say it, but I think you got played. This way she can write her bad day chronicles. You look like a fool. She gets all the hits. We get left with nothing. Yeah. I really thought she liked me, you know? Hey. Sorry, man. You haven't published my story yet, have you? Good, I think it needs a few revisions. I always lose my appetite when I feel like I messed up something important. Maybe you didn't mess it up. Maybe someone else messed it up. Maybe we both did. But I presume you heard about Lee and Connor's date last night? Yes, it went great. So I figured, you know, if they could let bygones be bygones and start over, then maybe we could too. time can you pick me up tonight? Was it me? Oh, it's a news alert. Connor just posted the write-up of their date. Uh-oh. It turns out our bad dates really were my fault because I'm the one who was willing to give her the benefit of the doubt. I was willing to believe that she was a decent human being. Did you know about this? No, when I talked to him, it was fine. They had a great time, everything was great. Or maybe he was just pretending that so he could write this hit piece. Uh, no, Connor is not like that. And what about you? Coming over here all charming. I'm such an idiot. Where are you going? I have to find Lee. What is? How fast it all comes back. I really didn't think I'd gotten over my breakup with Danny. You said his name. That's the thing. I thought it would hurt too much to say his name. I thought I was still too hurt by everything that had happened. It's understandable. But see, I wasn't. I was better. I felt better about myself, about 
my life, about everything. I just didn't realize it until I read this. Now I know how much better I was because now I remember what it feels like to be hurt. It comes back so fast. It's funny, isn't it? for an opportunity to stab me in the back, weren't you? Hold on a second. Somehow you're the victim here. You know, I really gotta give you credit for that. I was prepared to lose stuff. That was a fantastic performance. Have a seat, please. Let me guess. The Connor character assassination piece? All your idea, right? What, just like Lee's hatchet job was yours? What are you talking about? We haven't posted anything. Yeah, but I saw what you were gonna post. No. Lee didn't write this. I did. What? Lee wrote this really lovely, sweet piece of fluff. <sighs> I couldn't let her post it. So I wrote this and was going to put it up instead. But I changed my mind. I don't believe you. Where'd you find these papers, Milo? In the, in the, tr in the trash. Because that's where I put them. I threw it away. I wasn't going to post that. And Connor's original piece was about how amazing their date was. And then I showed him this. Of course you did. We're terrible people. The absolute worst. I mean, they could have been in love. Or at least headed that way. And we ruined it. Terrible, horrible people. The worst. Brad, get in here ASAP. Yo, Brad, we need your help. What did you two do? And you. You own the place, so I can't really tell you to get out, but I am not very happy with you either. That's fair. Aaron, just take a look at these. What did you do? It was them. Um... It's true. It's our fault. We just want to know how to fix it. So what do we say? How do we fix this? What? Yeah, I still don't understand what we're doing here. Just trust me, okay? Amigo. My date with Connor was unexpected. Not because it turns out that he's charming and funny, 
I'd gotten glimpses of those qualities on our previous dates. No, the date with Connor was unexpected because I realized that our horrible dates were really our own faults. Our scars from past relationships meant that we weren't willing to give each other the benefit of the doubt. Lee's willingness to throw caution to the wind and go out on a spur of the moment date made me look at her in a whole new light. She not only accepted this folly, she also embraced the chance to jump off a very tall bridge with only a very thin bungee cord, and I admire her bravery. Here's the thing about doubt. It's just a distraction. It's easy to get distracted by the things that don't really matter, but that's what makes it all the more exciting. When you can see past those distractions to find the real person standing behind them, I saw Connor for the first time last night, and I hope it's not the last. Hands clammy, mouths dry, hearts pounding, Lee and I stood together on the precipice, risking a fall, but eagerly anticipating the act of falling. And together we leapt. You wrote this? You? Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question? Can we count this as our first real date? Sure. Then why aren't you giving me that goodnight kiss? Because I'm not ready to say goodnight. Bradley, yes, Dr. That's all I've got. <laughs> wait, wait, I have one. Okay. To the end of the Bad Date Chronicles and the beginning of the Real Love Stories column, nonfiction. I have to hand it to you guys. I didn't think anyone would want to read about that last date. And who knew it would have been our most popular post? But enough of that romantic stuff. The real reason we're here to celebrate. A union between the Richards record and Peter's post. A partnership to the Richards Peter's report. Wait a second. Why does your name go first? Uh, we talked about this because my site has been around a lot longer than yours. Yeah, but I have a more engaged audience. Engaged? Wait, my audience is very engaged. You have How long until they realize they're in love with each other? I think we should set them up on a few bad dates. My name goes with, first. Which is why we're here I, uh, having no, this partnership. I know, I, why a bad date? Well, because sometimes you need a few bad dates to know which ones you really like. Which is why we're here. Cheers. 